Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are going to discuss today about uh, a part of conic section, and this is the video lecture number two. I hope you have already watched part one. In this lecture, uh, we will discuss about uh, circle. Previous lecture, we had discussed uh, all form of conic and how the different type of conic will form by intersection of the plane. And uh, <clears throat> in this lecture. We are going to start one of them that is the circle. So, what is circle? Before starting this uh, topic, I would like to give some basic concept about the circle. So, let us start today's circle. Circle is what? So, circle is a circle. Circle is a locus of a point. Circle, right? So, definition is circle is a locus of a point, <coughs> point which moves in such a way, which moves in such a way, way that its distance from a fixed point, distance from a fixed point is always constant is always constant right in a plane in a plane or in other word we can say a uh, circle is circle is set of all points set of all points in a plane in a plane which is equidistance which is equidistance from a fixed point from a fixed point equidistance from a fixed point the fixed point is called the fixed point is called the fixed point is called center of the circle center of the circle and the constant distance is called and the constant distance constant distance is called the radius of the circle radius of the circle let us see what is that and how this can be described. So, circle is nothing else but a locus of a point which moves in such a way. Right? Locus of a point which moves in such a way that distance from a fixed point is always constant. Suppose uh, this is a Cartesian system, right? And in this Cartesian system, this is x axis, this is y-axis and this one is origin. There is a fixed point and this fixed point is called center and the coordinate of this fixed point is h comma k say p is the point. Now any other point say here q and q is any other point which has coordinate x y then q is equidistance from the distance from this point from this one P to Q is always constant, right? This distance is always constant. And this PQ is the distance from the center is always constant. And if this point rotate about this like this, right? Thoroughly, then what the structure will form that will be a circle. If this point rotate like this, moves in such a way that distance from this point is always constant then path traced by this variable point is circle right point moves in such a way that path traced by locus is nothing else but path traced by a variable point so locus is nothing else locus means locus is nothing else but path traced by a variable point path traced by a variable point, 
expressed by a variable point variable point under certain geometrical condition certain geometrical condition geometrical condition is the locus right now. so here what is the geometrical condition that distance must be fixed now if i can do it and uh, use it like that uh, this distance is what called this distance is called r this distance pq is nothing else but r that is called a radius <coughs> a radius of circle right and this one is called center of the circle if you draw perpendicular right here um, this one must be y isn't it this one is y because this coordinate is x y so this one must be y right okay this one is y and this one is y this one is uh, say h k coordinate is k so that will be k so if i write this uh, like this is what this is h okay so okay now this one will be <coughs> this one will be what that will be describe as this one will be something so you know this point is length of this from origin to this point is what length of this edge length of this is h isn't it this length is h and this length is x again the length of this is x length of that is x right so what is the length this one is say this length is x this length is h so here what will happen this will be x minus h similarly this complete length is y this length is y from here to here this length is y nothing else y right now because it is a y coordinate and this length is k right so this length is k here because it is a k coordinate so here this one must be equal to a k y minus k so this length must be equal to y minus k this is y minus k right now this length r say r so pr is here P R Q R is Q R is Y minus K and P R is nothing else but X minus H right now in right angle triangle P Q R in right angle triangle P Q R in right angle triangle right angle triangle P Q R we have pq square is equal to pq square is equal to pr square plus qr square plus qr square isn't it so pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem theorem isn't it so what will happen this is nothing else but x minus h whole square this is nothing else but y minus k whole square and what is that this is the radius so r square so this is the equation of circle <coughs> this is equation of circle this is equation of circle with center <coughs> with center at h comma k and a radius r and radius r a radius r this is the equation of circle 
with center h comma k and radius r I remember this this is a fact <coughs> right so we have the equation of circle which uh, center is h comma k and radius is r i hope you got it this is the circle this one is called center of the circle this point p is called center of the circle right and this point p is called center of the circle this is called center okay so this one is called center center of the circle center. this point p is called center of circle right center of circle okay so all these things are there and i hope you uh, got all these points now there is a special case a special case what is that if the center of circle center of circle is at origin is at origin then h is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 and equation of circle will be then equation of circle then equation of circle will be then equation of circle equation of circle is what x square plus y square is equal to r square you can see this how this is possible um, if this is a this is this circle and center is at this so radius will be here we can write so like this and we can do this like the okay this is the x-axis this one is x dash, this one is y, this one is y dash, isn't it? And that would be 0, 0. And the radius is what? This is center and radius is r. So this will be r comma 0. And that will be 0 comma r because distance is fixed. That will be minus r comma 0. That will be 0 comma minus r. So here these points are like this. I hope you got it right now so circle h like this so here the center is at 0 0 and radius h on what we have say r so in that case uh, circle h at 0 0 and radius h r so remember this one this one is also very important one you can I remember this wherever this type of equation is written you will understand it that this is nothing else but it is a equation of it is a equation of circle which center is at 0 0 right so that will be uh, one of the specific case now uh, let us do some questions on the basis of this knowledge and uh, thereafter we will discuss some other form of equations as well right so let us discuss some questions few questions are there and questions are from given exercise and the exercise is 11.1 uh, so here is an exercise 11.1 from ncrt and we are going to take on the question from one and onward in each of the following is given that in each of the following following in each of the following exercise 1 to 5 exercise 1 to 5 find the equation of circle find the equation of circle equation of circle with first first question is that first question 
center is at center is 0 comma 2 and radius is 2 the radius is 2 so we know the equation of circle just solution you can write here the equation of circle is equation of circle with center h comma k and radius r the radius r is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square so here center is since center is here center is since center is so equation of circle with center therefore equation of circle circle with center 0 comma 2 and radius 2 is radius 2 is we will put here x minus 0 h is 0 nothing else and k is 2 y minus 2 whole square is equal to radius is 2 whole square you can write answer like this only but uh, x square plus y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 is answer but you can uh, also simplify them there is no problem because uh, we will discuss this later on why this happen x square plus y square minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 4 4 4 cancel and therefore we can say x square plus y square minus 4y is equal to 0 is answer of the circle you can write answer either this or this there is no problem right okay now the next question is next question is given that center is center is at minus 2 3 and radius is 4 and radius is 4 the radius is 4 so equation of circle then equation of circle will be equation of circle with center center minus 2 3 and radius 4 the radius 4 is what x minus minus 2 h is minus 2 whole square plus y minus k in place of k there is 3 whole square is equal to r square r is what 4 so 4 square that will be nothing else but uh, x plus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 16 this can be written as answer there is no issue but if you simplify them you will have x square plus 4x plus 4 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 is equal to 16 and that can be written as x square plus y square right now plus 4x minus 6y minus 3 is equal to 0 this type of equation is usually written and this is a general form of equation i'll show you why and how this will happen now question number three let us uh, solve question number three the center is given center is what 1 by 2 1 by 4 and radius is 1 by 12 and radius is 1 by 12 so we can write equation of circle is and therefore equation is equation of circle is what x minus 1 by 2 whole square plus y minus 1 by 4 whole square is equal to 1 by 12 whole square that will be also even you can simplify that but there is no problem in writing in this way also now question number four <coughs> let us see what is question number four says question number four center is given at center is given at one comma one and radius h a radius h under root two under root two and therefore equation of circle will be equation of circle will be h x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square is equal to root 2 square and that will be x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2y 
and is equal to 0 because the root 2 square is 2 and 1 plus 1 is 2 so that will be cancelled so this will be answer x square plus y square minus 2x minus 2y is equal to 0 that will be answered right now similarly there is a question number 5 as it is said question number 5 is there center is center is minus a minus b and radius is radius is under root a square minus b square and therefore equation of circle is equation of circle will be is what x minus minus a that is plus a whole square y minus k k is minus b so minus of minus b that will be plus b whole square is equal to under root a square minus b square this is r and r square that is radius square so that will come up like x plus a whole square right y plus b whole square is equal to after squaring root will be removed and that will be answered you can write like this or even if you want to simplify it you can simplify it there is no problem but that will be also a standard form so you can write in this form as well a standard form is x square x minus h whole square y minus k whole square is equal to r square that is the standard form the equation of circle is called a standard form this one is called a standard form right now this is called a standard form right? a standard form a standard form right now a standard form of equation of circle this is a standard form right and uh, here if I write this x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c then it is called um, general form. I will discuss that after some time. Right? I hope you got it. Okay. Now uh, let us discuss few more questions. In each of the following from 6 to 9, in each of the following following from 6 to 9 6 to 9 exercise from exercise 6 to 9 exercise 6 to 9 let me write here exercise 6 to 9 right find the center and radius of the circle find the center and radius of the circle and radius of the circle this is what we do here this is the question and you have to do this so first question is <coughs> from question number six let us deal with this equation of circle is given x plus five whole square plus y minus three whole square is equal to 36 comparing this this can be written as the equation can be rewritten as equation can be rewritten as x minus minus 5 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 6 square isn't it and comparing with comparing with this one can be comparing with now comparing with x minus h whole square y minus k whole square is equal to r square we get center is center is h comma k that is minus 5 comma 3 and radius is radius r is what 6 that will be answered now let us discuss question number 7 and question number 7 is the Seven. What is that? Question number seven is given here. X square plus y square minus four x minus eight y minus forty five is equal to zero. That is the equation. So we can have the general form as well, but we can reduce them in this way. This can be written as if you write it like this x square 
माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस एट वाई प्लस सिक्सटीन राइट ना एंड देन माइनस सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू जीरो बिकॉज आई हैव एडेड हेयर ट्वेंटी एंड सो प्लस ट्वेंटी जेडेड ट्वेंटी से प्रैक्टेड Now this can be written as x minus two whole square plus y minus four whole square is equal to under root sixty five whole square. And on comparing, comparing with, comparing with a standard form, x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. So what will happen? What is that? On comparing. Comparing uh, x, comparing on comparing, comparing x minus h whole square y minus k whole square is equal to r square. You will get center at center is what two comma four, and radius is what radius is under root sixty five. So you will get right now question number. Twenty-eight. Question number eight is here, and what is that? It is given that x square plus y square minus eight x plus ten y minus twelve is equal to zero. Again, this can be transformed in that form. So you can write x square minus eight x plus sixteen plus y square plus ten y plus twenty-five. 25 plus 16 is 41. I have added, so we need to subtract 41. And if I subtract 41, then that will be what? 12 plus 41. 41 is added both the sides, right? So what will happen? That is considered as x minus 4 whole square plus y plus 5 whole square is equal to this will be 53. So can be written under root 53 whole square. On comparing with Comparing with x minus h whole square, y minus k whole square is equal to r square. We have center is what? We got center is center is four comma minus five and radius is under root fifty three. Under root fifty three. Okay. So that is our one of the answer. Now the next question is question number nine. And take this question nine is there. What is that? Two x square plus two y square minus x is equal to zero. So first of all, we will divide, make the coefficient of x as unity. That can be rewritten as x square plus y square minus one by two x is equal to zero. For making perfect square, we can do this: x square minus one by two x and half of coefficient of x. A square of half of coefficient of x that can be added. That is one by four square can be added, and one by four square can be subtracted or added this side even, right? So one by four whole square is added. Now this can be written as x minus one by four whole square, isn't it? X minus one by four whole square plus y square. That is y minus zero whole square. Is equal to one by four whole square. On comparing with, on comparing with x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square is equal to r square. We have center h, center h what one by four comma zero and radius h one by four. Radius is one by four. I hope you got it. And radius is. Let me write here. Radius is one by four. So this is the answer. I hope you got it. Okay. So that's uh, the basic knowledge about uh, this uh, circle. And I hope you have understood it. You understand it. And uh, Uh, you definitely uh, will practice some question which is given in your book, and if you will be not able to solve this, we will discuss after the break. So 
the next lecture that will be next lecture till then bye bye take care and if you haven't subscribed this channel yet do subscribe this share with your friends definitely you it will meet all the requirement of your academic as well as competitive examination thank you thank you very much god bless